Tonight, we wanted to get to the latest on the controversy surrounding a new mega church that's been in the making for nearly 20 years. We covered the announcement of Pastor Marvin Winans' dream to build the new church. Now a lawsuit by the city and a countersuit by the church is leading to a showdown in court. 7 Action News anchor Carolyn Clifford takes us to Detroit for a special look inside the unfinished building and talks with city leaders about what they want to see done. You've likely seen the new perfecting church at Woodward and Seven Mile. It is massive, 35,000 square feet and sits on 16 acres of land. Bishop Marvin Winans granted us an exclusive tour. This is your neighborhood where you grew up. This is where I grew up. The renderings of this 4,200 seat sanctuary, spectacular. So when we walk up here, these are going to be, these are going to be seats. seats, a gorgeous winding staircase. And the whole space will be flooded with light from stained glass. A chapel for weddings and a 1,000 seat banquet space. So this is all structural steel. It's We're told the core is complete. Electrical, heating, underground plumbing, gas lines for the kitchen. We run sprinkler systems. And the ceiling fully coated with flame retardants. It is solid. There's no rainwater coming in. It is a sound structure. The price tag so far, $20 million, all paid in full by the church. So all of the underground work for this facility is done. But it's been two decades, and according to the city, no building permits have been pulled since 2018. Okay. Attorney David Jones is the lead counsel for Perfecting Church. Tell me the biggest obstacles. There was some financing uh, that was lined up, local banks. They had signed up and they pulled out. Now the city is suing. Lead Corporation Counsel Conrad Mallett says Detroit requested a building status report from a certified structural engineer stating the building is in fact in good shape. There was no answer by the February deadline. Why the crackdown on perfecting church now? Because uh, really I just became the Corporation Counsel. Uh, blight is something that has plagued the city of Detroit for decades. Council for Perfecting Church argues there is no blight, no broken windows, no graffiti. This is the entry. And 24 uh, hour round the clock security. What is the city demanding from Pastor Winans and the church? They're actually to come in, appoint a receiver and seize the property. That's a taking and there's absolutely no justification. Mallet claims the city does not want the property. What we want is a responsible plan and backed up by financial evidence that the building can be completed. Mallet says he's hoping the judge will appoint a receiver and if perfecting cannot finish the church in a reasonable time period, it should be sold with the proceeds going back to perfecting church. Council for Perfecting says they are close to getting the financial backing they need. Once you secure that 20 million, how long it will take? About 18 months. Meantime, the church has filed a countersuit against the city. We're going to ask the judge to very quickly assess the property, perhaps even take a tour like you're doing today and determine and so she can see for herself this is not a public nuisance. Mallet says the city wants to see signed contracts with the architects and contractor and their certifications. These are basic requests and we are the city of Detroit and the city of Detroit has a right to that information and we've asked for it politely and we've asked for it more than once. Perfecting Church calls this selective prosecution. What's the message to the city today? We didn't look for the fight. But well, we're not running from it either. The city has no right to do what they're attempting to do, and we're hopeful that a judge is going to determine real quickly that perfecting is allowed to complete the project. Carolyn Clifford, 7 Action News. Carolyn, thank you for that report. Perfecting Church tells us that they're hoping the situation will be resolved soon. The city says that they've issued an answer to the counterclaim filed by the mega church. We're told a court date has not yet been set on that matter. We'll, of course, continue to follow this story and bring you any updates.